Hello, good evening. Welcome. Today, I get another interview series, and this one, I, I've been excited about them all, but we've been really looking forward to chatting with you. So tonight, um, my name's Dara Forleo, if you're viewing for the first time, and I own the Whole Pet Grooming Academy. I am here tonight with Melissa Russo. So last year, um, Melissa was our first student to enroll in the Master of Holistic Arts Diploma. And she is like three classes away from finishing. Am I that um, close? You are almost there. Yes. Yep. I know. So, and I think you started in September. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a lengthy, you know, I didn't gauge the the length and the depth that this goes into so you have taken some of um you've taken a lot of the the classes already so tell me um you've been in the animal communications mm -hmm. and uh the behavior so you yep. finished both of those um you're currently finishing the last pet cosmetology if i remember the yep. second part yep. um You've been in Jennifer's class. Mm -hmm. um, what else was there? You did the Sorry, salon. Sanitation. Sanitation, yep. Um, oh, my cat's going to join us. He loves doing these live events with us. And I'm trying to remember if there was something else. So we're, we're getting ready to get into uh, massage and aromatherapy. Yep. And I think from there, you're and what and the feline yes I think I have a nutrition class in there too but I yes. think I threw that one in extra yep so yeah you've got like three classes left that's crazy so it's exciting <laughs> it's been really great um I think when I started grooming I said you know what do I want to gravitate to and what what kind of person do I want to be as a groomer and I have such a passion for like holistic and natural things for myself that I really wanted to be able to imply that into grooming. And, you know, you go through an apprenticeship or a mentorship or whatever you do, but then being by yourself in the shop is totally different. So being able to pull different tools and learning from different people um, has been really, really cool. Um, there's a lot of things that, you know, you don't think about and then someone breaks it down in a different way and you're like, oh, that's neat. Like I connect with that. And so it's been really helpful being in the shop by myself to now be able to say, okay, this person said this and this person said that, and this is helpful. And and you've been able to take all these bits and pieces and put them together and apply to what works absolutely. for you in your yeah. salon. And that's mm -hmm. the, that's the biggest key that's point is that you take the parts and put them together and blend them mm -hmm. for yourself. Um, Amber is watching and uh, Amber is our newest enrollee in the uh master of holistic arts mm -hmm. so she said she's super excited about it yes she just started her classes too so it's, it's, it's awesome a road program. but um what has been so i'm intrigued by because i've known latifa who did the animal communication for and i've known her for a long time um this, this was her first time like working with groomers like this so what was your take on on that and how do you think is that going to apply are you going to be able to really like that so energy and I've liked all the classes but her class was by far like hands down my favorite yeah and I think walking into it I had no idea what to expect that's the class that I've taken the most from and used the most on a daily basis wow oh, that is it so was. cool it was awesome. And it's a lot of the things she said, you kind of look and you're like, but do I like, am I really like picking up what you're putting down? And then you really think about it and you say to yourself, wow, like we can't speak to these animals. All we really have is who we are and what we, what we radiate out. And that's so important in talking to them and communicating with them. It was a really great class. I would love for like more of her classes to be offered through mm -hmm. you guys. I think they are. I think you have the longer animal communication program. Yes. Yep. Yep. Um, but we'll have to it, work it on was her to get some more. <laughs> uh, it was a great class and she was a fantastic teacher and mm -hmm. she really, I liked that she didn't put so much emphasis on like tests or homework. And it was rather like, let's talk in the class. Like, what do you do? Let's work through it all. And, you know, every teacher has their own way of working through you with things, but 
um, just the way she kind of talked it all out in the class and it was made for everybody, but you felt comfortable talking. And cause sometimes I'm very much the student who's like, I don't want to talk. I want to be by myself. Um, but she made everybody look at you right now. You're live on Facebook. (laughs) So she was, it was a great class. Good. Good. And, um, Oh, and you did both of Chrissy's. We get so much on Chrissy's class. And He's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. She's got a great class. So what do you think um, going through this? How did you find us? So there was another student who's gone through a ton of your programs. I'm terrible with names. Not going to remember her name. But she has a mobile um, down in South Carolina. And she... Ashley. I think so. Um, And she actually recommended you guys. And she had all her certificates hanging up. And when I had gone to um, a mobile facility, I saw her van. I was just talking to her. And she was like, oh, you should check them out. So I did. And then there were so many classes that I was just so intrigued by because they weren't your normal classes. Um, Mm -hmm. They were different. And I just felt like I connected with a lot of that. Oh, I love it. I love it. Ashley's great. She's just – she – a master esthetician and specializes yes. in the esthetician. She's amazing. I got to meet her. I did an interview with her a few months, uh, I think it was back, cool. in, back in September after she, she was like the first one. I'm like, I got to do this more often. So, because she went through the entire master program was just like, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> so yeah. All her certificates like, were nicely lined up in the van. In so. the van aren't, isn't it amazing? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So where, now you're, where are you located? I'm in Connecticut. You're in South Carolina. Connecticut. Connecticut. Oh, you're in Connecticut. You're not far. You could come right up and do yeah. classes with us. Why don't oh, you yeah. do that? <laughs> I don't know. It's just crazy, but if I say I would like to. Yeah. Well, now I'm not too far from you in Western Mass, so. Oh, you're super close. <laughs> I do. I live in Western Mass. The school's still in Portsmouth, but. Um, I didn't realize you yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I move a lot. We move a lot. <laughs> We're, I, I'm so restless. I'm like here, there, and everywhere all at the same time in a matter of seconds. It's like, I'm going back tomorrow for the day. So hang out with the girls oh, and see them and check in on them. And they're doing great. Um, so what do you think is next for you? You have your own shop? No. No. Oh, no. Okay. I thought you had your no. own. Mm-mm. So I finished my apprenticeship well, okay. maybe almost a year ago now. Um, so I would like to continue being in a shop um, just so I can gain a little more experience with people around me. Um, you know, I had a dog have a seizure in my arms for the first time like a couple months ago. So there's just a lot of big milestone things that I feel like I haven't really experienced. And if I do that by myself, um, I don't think that that would be super smart. Um, So I would like to, I like being in an environment where there's other people. Um, I'm learning a lot about like business and working with people and, and just a lot of things that you grab from that. Um, I come from a customer service background before this. So just kind of fine tuning my skills um, and then just working with the dogs. So eventually I want my own mobile. Um, that's my goal. Um, but just working towards getting there. Yeah. Yeah. It is all in baby steps and taking it one day at a time. So we do have business classes too, just FYI. (laughs) Um, but mobile is a great way. It's very, very sought after right now because people, you know, like the convenience of it. And, uh, I have a lot, a lot of graduates that actually go mobile. Um, yeah, yeah. It's that and house calls getting to be really popular too. Mm. So, uh, and just a thought, a little less overhead. Yes. But, um, mobile, I started on a mobile van, so my heart is there. Um, uh, I really loved it. Very comfortable there. Yeah, it's my, it's definitely what I gravitate towards. Um, yeah. And then working in a shop now, I definitely don't want to be in a shop for, for too much longer. So. Okay. Well, as long as you're saving and getting your, yourself, it sounds like you're doing just that. 
and uh, go in there. So have you looked at any units? Have you explored explored that that process yet? A little bit, yeah. Um, I have. I know a lot about the two major companies. Um, and then just looking at what's going to be, you know, the most uh, affordable mobile um, that's going to be the most efficient in the way that it's converted. Um, and then making sure the conversion is done right if I was to do more of a DIY option or not go with those two main companies. Um, so just trying to figure out like the right path for that. Um, there's so much that goes into it, especially being in New England with it being so cold Windows. and, you know, you don't want to be out there with the blow dryer and the spigot and hoping it warms up and then freezes. So. Yeah, that I was, that is a challenge that mobile groomers have is not being able to house their units yeah. up here and maintain them. So that's, yeah, um, the weather. And snow, I think I've heard a lot of times that snow and ice and if people aren't clearing their driveways and you're trying to get mm -hmm. in and parking yeah. or backing up if you have a trailer, lots and lots of, of decisions. Yeah. I mean, you have challenges to overcome based on mm -hmm. a different circumstance than challenges of a, a shop environment. But yeah. I think it's very yeah. exciting. And Lori says the same. I said, Lori, we got to get her up to the school. <laughs> yeah, I have to come to it. <laughs> we have set, we have quite a few from Connecticut that have come for training and have stayed and mm. we've helped them find places to stay and the girls do really well. Just okay, yeah, you guys do great. So you have a nice tight knit community down there too. I say down there like I'm far away, but no, it's true. <laughs> Connecticut, and I feel like more and more shops are popping up, um, and more and more people are kind of you know coming into the industry, which is really great. That is good. Yeah. Yeah. So you think you're going to be moving on. How are you going to utilize and, and use this diploma to better serve your clients? I think initially I kind of said to myself, Ooh, like it's kind of like having a college diploma. You're like, this is a great piece of paper to have. But then I think going through all of the classes, um, not that I didn't think I was going to learn, but I learned so much more like valuable information um, that's really unique that I didn't think I would learn that is constantly popping into my brain as I'm working at my table. Um, so I think just having all that diverse knowledge um, from different things that, you know, isn't so mainstream in our um, industry yet, especially the animal communication and, you know, having a dog trainer background um, in some of the behavior classes, like that's really helpful um, in just approaching the dogs in different ways for their individual needs. So I think just having all of that in your tool belt um, will be really great to work with all the dogs in the future. Yeah, that is amazing. So what do your coworkers think of this? Have you been really kind of quiet fun. about it now? Um, they know I'm in school. Um, the shop <laughs> I work at, I think... I think everybody's there temporarily. Um, yeah. I don't think not a lot of the people that I – No, that's okay. Um, a lot of the people I work with don't see dog grooming as there forever. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I don't think their core values are um, always there for the dog. So I think they're like, oh, that's cool you're doing that. But I don't think that they're like, oh, how's school and what are you learning? It's not there. They're not yeah. in it the same way. Yeah, it is. That is one thing. Our, our, this industry does pull in a lot of temps and because mm -hmm. it's hard. It's a lot of work. Yeah. And when you we talk about it on the Pet Pros all the time, um, how not only your education, but but the physical demands of it and trying to sustain yourself as mm -hmm. a your soul, it's a lot. everything. It's a lot, yeah, but it's a lot. you seem to be thriving at it. I can see you're, you're kind of glowing. I, um, left a 10 year career in hairdressing, um, mid pandemic ah. to be a dog groomer and I've never been happier. Good so. choice. So it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's, good choice. <laughs> yeah, it's been really good. I would not change so it. So that's all. what you said when you've had customer service. You can't, yeah. that is, it's a, I, a good flip mm. because it, 
And and I think I've I've heard a lot of people have said that I love hairdress. I just love that styling and but I love animals at the same time and it's like never thought I could combine them. Didn't know that it was what it could be, you know. So um it's it's very interesting to see that you you did that. We know a lot of people that have done that. Oh, I think we froze. Yeah, up it's on. interesting. Oh, there you go. No, I think I got you. Oh, maybe not. It's coming back. I'm hoping it's not me. I'm plugged into the computer. Okay, well. <laughs> Technology. Gotta love it. It works when it wants to work. And it works when it doesn't. I know. Thanks, Lori. I think, she, I wonder if she'll switch back to her phone. So we'll give her just a second. But, um, well, for anyone out there who is watching and Amber, um, that this diploma is a, a, a mix and a blend of a little bit of everything. And it's it's one of the it's one of our favorite diplomas that we talk about. And I think you've heard us talk about it a lot and to see the, the progression that these women are making. Um, we've got four enrolled in it now, and it's just, it's tremendous to watch how they're progressing through and the excitement that they're taking from these. There she is. There we go. Sorry about that. I don't know. It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> I said, you're going to be right back. Yes. In a technology. Gotta love it. Yep. Always, always a little dilemma. Yeah. So all right, now I don't remember where we were. I think talking about customer service. Yes, the exactly. Coming from the hairdressing industry. Yep. That is, you've, you've got to be on your game all the time dealing with, the customers taking, if, I can't even imagine. I mean, I know how I feel when people come in. It's like, you did what to my dog? And the look on their face if they don't like it. But I couldn't imagine being a hairdresser and having somebody lash out about that. And you yeah. take it so personally. <laughs> you do. You take it super personal. Um, but you have to remember, and I think the same thing for dogs is that there's someone for everyone, right? Like you're not going to vibe with everyone. And you're also not going to vibe with every dog that steps on your table. Sometimes you're just not a good fit. And it's the same with people. So I think you just, it's kind of relative. You have to find your tribe and what, mm -hmm. you know, what works with you and what you connect with. I think when you find that like niche little area, you thrive. Yep. It, it's definitely true. So you yes. really nailed it. Um, do you have any advice for our other women going through this program or any, any? I think just embrace everything that everybody has to say. Take it all in. Take it all. It is a lot. <laughs> It's a lot, but it's, it's, it's a, a good, lot. a lot. It is a good, a lot. Yep. Good, a lot. Yep. Who was, uh, Stephanie was in class with you for the animal communication, yeah. wasn't she? Yep. yep. Yeah. I think she really liked it too. I don't know if you got to talk to her yet, but she I haven't. No. Nope. Really, really love it. I think we both really liked it. That's just amazing. I just, it's. Like I said, I've known Latifa for so long. So for me to see this progression in groomers now is I'm used to it from her other students because mm -hmm. they're seeking it out. But yeah. when you put this on, I was wondering what this was going to, uh, how this was going to take. And when I asked her if we could put it in, she was like, oh my God, that's perfect. I'd love to do that. <laughs> it was an epic class. Like so cool. <laughs> so many different things that were so you know, unique and something people just don't talk about and to really be able to like break it down and how we are fundamentally and how we take everything in and how to kind of manage your mind too while you're working with the animal um, is just things that I feel like people don't talk about. So yeah. uh, it was, it was such a different way to approach things, but uh, an awesome class. Cool. I'm going to pitch this to our uh, two instructors too and see, 
I, I think Chrissy would like it. I think she would love it. <laughs> like no way taking classes from her. I think she would really, really like it. Yeah. Yeah. I think they teach pretty similar. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. And she like Lativa really likes to get in your mind and she's like, she's reading you. She, it's so crazy how she just knows. So I know. Yeah, I've been friends with her since 2007. I know how she gets in your That's mind. That's a long time. Yeah. Right <laughs> You're like, like this. And I was like, oh, how do you know that? <laughs> yep. She's good. <laughs> yes. Well, I appreciate you coming out here and, and taking this time. And I'm sorry I shocked you with the lives. So. No, it's all good. It's all good. I'm glad we got to talk. Yep. Yep. And it's nice to see your face because you and I are all email. I know, always. Yep. Um, but if there's anything, anything you need, you know, reach out to me and any of us. And we are thrilled to have you. And I can't wait to see you and sign that diploma. Thank you. <laughs> I am looking forward to it. So Thank congratulations you. and welcome to the family. <laughs> Thanks, Dara. All right. Well, thank you everyone for joining us and uh, I will be setting up another interview for next week. So I'm really enjoying these. So we're going to keep on going, but have a good night, Melissa, and we'll see you soon. Sounds good. Bye. Bye.